Okay, so you have installed your Ecobee thermostat, which is pretty much the best thermostat on the market right now. And it's pretty smart all by itself. But how do we get it set up with smart things so we have full control and can take advantage of everything with smart things? I'm going to show you how to get that set up next. Hi, I'm Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. The steps to building the ultimate smart home right on my shirt here, and you can visit the video description below for all of those steps. If you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. So today what we're going to do is we have our Ecobee thermostat installed, and um, the Ecobee thermostat has a lot of information because the um, little sensors that come with it are also motion sensors and this thermostat is 100% compatible with SmartThings and Alexa so we can get this set up and get more control over everything so let's go ahead and do that first thing we're going to do is get out our phone and we're going to go to the SmartThings app okay so we have our SmartThings app open here and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Marketplace and we're going to find the thermostats and we're going to choose um, Ecobee 3 is the one we have. I don't think it matters because you're basically going to be logging in with your Ecobee account. So we're going to go ahead and click on Connect Now and it's just going to pop you over to here. And basically all you need to do is tap where it says click to enter credentials. So we're going to click that. And then we're just going to put in our um, username and password. And once you have that done, just click on the login. And now it says that SmartThings has permission to view your thermostat settings and data in your account. And it will integrate. So we're going to go ahead and click accept. And now it says that's all set up. So we're going to go ahead and click done. And now it says that you are connected. And just hit the next button. And now you can also choose which ones you want to bring into SmartThings. So we only have two thermostats, the upstairs and downstairs. And then we have all of these sensors. So you want to bring in um, all of the sensors, probably. Um, it's up to you. Just click done and when you have um, chosen what you want to bring in just hit save and now it says ecobee connect is installing and automating so it's going to put all of that stuff under our my home tab we go back over and you can see that we have all of our ecobee stuff um, right in the list here so um, if we click on the Ecobee downstairs, which is this one here, it's going to tell you the current humidity, the current temperature, um, which is here. And it will tell you what the heat and what the cool is set at. It will also tell you whether it's on heat or cool and what the fan is set at and whether it's active or um, idle. So right now it's idle. And if we go back and just say Let's look at one of the sensors. So we go to one of the sensors. It's going to tell you the temperature um, and whether there's motion or not. So you can actually use these as motion sensors in SmartThings to do other automations. Um, same thing with the temperature. You can use the temperature um, to do other automations as well. And that is pretty much it. Um, basically, all we have to do is connect our account, and it brings in all of these devices right into SmartThings, and we can use those to automate and get more control over our smart home. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or have any trouble, just leave a comment. See you in the next video.